So in this video, we're going to work out how to find the Cauchy distribution's cumulative density function. Now, in the last video, we showed how to find this Cauchy distribution's PDF from the student T distribution with one degree of freedom. So I've got a link below to show us how we got about that, because that's an interesting uh, load of calculations. Now, the PDF of the Cauchy distribution, that is f of x is 1 over pi times 1 over 1 plus x squared. That was its PDF for the Cauchy distribution. Now, x is our random variable, and x was all the real numbers. So it was in a range of negative infinity to infinity. So a range of any value of number that you like to put into here for its PDF. So in this video, we're going to find the CDF, the cumulative density function. Now, the cumulative density function, we know on a graph, if I just graph this up, and this is our x value, we know that for all the values of x, it will reach a value of 1 for the total of all the random variables probabilities. So if we put here 1, the total of this will eventually max out at 1 as x approaches infinity. Now where x is on that, that's the point we could choose. So we could choose this point A, we could choose this point B, it could be anywhere along this real number line. Now what we know is that all the probabilities add up to 1, and we know that this function here for this the CDF, the cumulative density function, is going to be an increasing function. So it's never going to be decreasing. So we could never have these lines coming down as they're always adding on top of each other from the previous lower values of x. So let's go about finding this CDF. So the CDF of our PDF, so that equals the integral from negative infinity to infinity of our f of x and then dx. So it's basically an integral Finding the area under a graph is an integral. But there's a few special steps in here that we need to do when finding our CDF. OK, so let's plug in our f of x into this and let's see how we go with the integration. So we go from negative infinity to infinity of our PDF, which is 1 over pi, times 1 over 1 plus x squared. OK, so still integrating with regards to x. Now, if we go ahead and integrate this, we'll end up with a value of just 1. So this we know will equal 1. So if it is a valid PDF, it should integrate to 1. So I'm going to leave that as an exercise for you to do, but we're still not on a track here to find a CDF. So what we need to do is to find our value along this line of x, and do a change of variable on our integration steps. So our integration variable, we're going to need to change. So here we've got x. So we need to put in a dummy variable. So the next thing we do is we go from negative infinity. Now the value for our upper bound, I'm going to come to that in a moment. Then we've got 1 over pi, 1 over 1 plus t squared. That's a very good choice for a variable to change. And then we go for dt. OK, now as we're integrating along this line to our point on the line here of x, we then have our upper bound as x. So wherever that value is of x on there, that's what we integrate to. So we integrate from negative infinity. So this we will head towards negative infinity. And as we go along, that will be the point there on our x-axis. OK. So now what we need to do, we need to integrate this, and then that should give us our CDF. OK, so let's have a go at that. So 1 over pi, that can come out the front. That's not related to our t, so let's do that. So now we've got negative infinity to x. 1 over pi can come out to the front. And then we've got this function here, 1 over 1 plus t squared. OK. Now that is a nice integral for us to do because that's a standard integral. Now we know that is the arctangent function. 
Okay, so let's finish this off and put the last few steps in to find that CDF. Let's clear the board off and bring this up here. Okay. Okay, right, let's go straight into the integration and we know this is gonna be arc tangent of T. So we've got one over pi and then we've got arc tangent of T. So arc tangent of T and that's evaluated from negative infinity to X. So let's put our calculations to be done in there. Okay, so let's evaluate at X and subtract the value from at negative infinity. So one over pi, and then we multiply that by arc tangent. Let's just write that like that, arc tangent. And our variable is gonna be X. So this is where we get our X variable back and subtract the value at negative infinity. So arc tangent of negative infinity. Okay, right. Now what's our value here? So one over pi, that's our constant that can stay. We've got arctan of x minus, so arctangent of negative infinity. Well, the limit as arctangent approaches negative infinity is minus pi over two. So we showed that on that previous video where we found this student's t distribution, one degree of freedom, which showed us our Cauchy distribution. So that's where we went over the limit of that, if you want to have a look at that, but it's minus pi over two. Okay, right, now let's write this as one fraction. So now dividing every one by pi, that's our constant there to dis be distributed. So we've got arc tangent of x, and then we can add pi over two. Okay, right. Now pi plus pi over two there in our numerator looks a little bit clumsy. Let's just use something to simplify off with this pi at the bottom. So we'd have, let's leave an equal sign there as well, arc tangent of x over pi. Now just have a look at this, pi over two divided by pi. Now what we can do here now, we could write that as pi over two pi, which is just gonna give us one half. So basically arc tangent of x over pi plus one half. And that is gonna be our result for our cumulative density function of the Cauchy distribution. Okay.